हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू थिंकर व्यूज पॉडकास्ट इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ पॉडकास्ट वी टॉक अबाउट वेरियस बुक्स दैट वी फाइंड वर्थ टॉकिंग अबाउट वी एट थिंकर व्यूज फाइंड अवर सेल्फ वेरी फॉर्चुनेट फॉर गेटिंग अ चांस टू गेट एक्सपोज टू सो मेनी टैलेंट इन द लिटररी वर्ल्ड इन एडिशन टू सम ऑफ द सीजन ऑथर्स एंड देयर वर्कस we also came to witness some of the books from some lesser known talented ones and we found that the stories they came up are really interesting imaginative and fascinating and almost like the masterpieces today we are going to talk about one such book doomsday of tamas race to the second apocalypse by varun sayal Varun is a software engineer working in a big company in the field of data analytics and he can be called an IT professional his passion for writing makes him an author as well and he is not just an another author he has made his mark with many of his books now he loves exploring the world of science fictions or sci-fi through his books motivated by the positive response to his first book time crawlers a short story collection he started writing a trilogy focused on time crawlers the first two books in the series were demons of time race to the seventh sunset the second book is devourers from suryaksh race to the last eventuality and then before releasing the last book in the series he also wrote a short story disciples of trikal prequel to the time traveler series by the way you can find links to our reviews for all these books in the description below as i got a chance from our team to read all these books by varun when we were approached for his latest book in the series which is also the last installment of the same i was pretty sure that the book is going to be an interesting reading experience and we have decided to read this book out of it done so friends here are my unbiased and uninfluenced views and reviews for this book dooms day of tamas race to the second apocalypse let us talk about the cover page of the book while the cover page should never be considered as the sole medium to judge a book more often than not it influences a large number of reading decisions for sure and as you can see the cover page shows a robot fully geared up and battle ready in a striking pose it reflects the antagonist of the book and you will relate to this scene in the last segment of the book in the background the designer has tried to show the earth and many other space objects and an explosion the upper half of the cover page is filled with green while it is a thoughtful design the robot rather than looking a menacing warrior to fear from looks like a toy it seems that the author could have hired a professional designer to make it a lot better it is not an impressive cover page for sure now let us take a bird's eye view of the story it starts with a chapter named the phone call exploring incidents happened on 3rd in february 2074 in kolkata india the main kind has progressed a lot in terms of technology by then Now there can be gadgets of the size of lenses and they can be worn in the eyes they can display the transmitted feeds directly to the person wearing it it provided a really high tech way to the people to remain updated with the elements they care for in the hatibagan market area of kolkata the things were going smooth when all of a sudden strange incident happened A lady purchasing daily utensils was hijacked in a really strange way in front of everyone and 
no one could have done anything but remain mute spectators to it. Of course, people grab a chance to record this incident and it became a sensational news in almost real time. Oof, we humans, are we going to change at all? Another strange incident happened in Bengaluru, one of the remarkable cities of India. Here, amid the chaos, we witness a lady working in Indian armed forces wearing some advanced gadgets uses the power of the gadgets and technology to reach her destination. It is like a superhuman using superpower. While these things are happening, Tej and Rigasur are doing their best to find the culprit planning the doomsday for the earth. Tej has another mission too finding his daughter and getting united with her. His daughter Kal Priya or Pri is also curious to meet her father on the insistence of Rudrakshini Devi. She is not happy with the fact that her father left her and her mother when they needed them. Will they be able to find each other and eventually can have a normal father-daughter relationship? Will Tej, Rigasur, and others be able to find the antagonist? Who is he, she, or it? Well, you need to read the book to find out the answers. Over the course, you will meet Moshumi, Samir Khanna, Jadav, Hister, Manika, Hafisa Zubair, Ajaz, Jannat, Bombin, Som, Johan, Rahul Nagarkar, Rudrakshini, Brigadier Venkat Raman Sundar Murthy or Venkat, Sujata, Mathur, Lieutenant Nancy Rosario, General Richard Shed, Griffin, Laram, Thomas, Entril, Tej, Rigasur or Rig, Pri, and many others. Here are my views and reviews for this book. Imagination of the creator plays the most important role when it comes to fictions. And when it is a science fiction, it has to follow some logical reasoning and research work as well. Reading this book is an interesting experience in those aspects. The author's efforts are quite visible throughout. The way author has named the characters is really interesting. The protagonist is Tej, means light. And the antagonist is Tamas, the darkness. The protagonist's daughter, having the power to do time traveling at will, is named as Kalpriya, means loved by the time. In addition to paying attention to these details, the author has also consciously involved characters from various religions. And yes, for the sake of simplicity, for some characters, he just used some popular names. For the place names also, Varun used the same strategy. It would be interesting to find the references like New Hastinapur, previously New Delhi. If you have an eye for detailing, you will surely notice the use of the phrase matter of planetary importance. In the same context, we are using matter of national interest or matter of national security these days. It reflects the world is united or has to be united to fight these evils. Eventually, people seems understood that rather than keeping boundaries of caste, creed, gender, race and religions, unity is the best policy. You will also find security forces from various countries are working with each other in cooperation. For example, there is a special research group SRG in India. And at the same time, there is a scene where intelligent, clever and intellectuals from almost all major countries across the world met to finalize the course of action against the catastrophe about to happen. and they behave like kids. Will the true nature of human remain the same? Here is the scene. It was 
uh, fish market situation with no single conversation and multiple people engage in several altercation with each other. The author is good at detailing and it is pretty much evident in the first scene of the book. Her left eye lens constantly projected her social media timeline, whether telecast and other notifications on her retina. Every other minute, she also got a 5 second feed of her toddler lying peacefully in a pram. As a single mother living without family support, this was a crucial update she had had a technician provided for her. Her right eye lens was switched off as she needed to keep an eye on the bustling street. It is an art to reveal various attributes of the characters in story without explicitly mentioning them. It seems Varun has gained a good control on this art. Here are some lines of the book where you can find free flowing conversations and details revealing something important about the characters involved or refers to. Rudrakshini always addressed her as Kalapriya and not Pri. Rudrakshini found nicknames offensive. I have no problem except I don't trust you even this much. She brought her left hand's thumb and index finger close, but didn't touch them. Why do believe him on this? Lying is second nature to him. Rudrakshini Keshinated. Kiddo, I haven't whitened this hair with sunshine alone. My name is Tamas, a resident of the world of zeros and ones. Eternally swimming in the ocean of electrical pulses powering your motherboards. Money? That holds no worth for me. It is all zeros and ones. I can create it at will and destroy it at will. The details about artificial intelligence, Brahmastra and other stuff is explored quite interestingly. The Brahmastra related stuff will remind you of Indian mythology. I also recall a chapter about Narak Astra in the very first book of the author in the same context. The author has also tried to weave the science and logic as far as possible in convincing manner. Especially I like the way the author has explored the wiring that can imitate human touch to the bow and the arrow. I found it really interesting. The hunt for the creator of Tamas at some points will remind you the scenes from the Matrix movie series. And yes, the author doesn't waste the opportunity when it comes to refer to a book or a movie in the story. For example, according to Sun Tzu, the most powerful ally a soldier can have is the terrain. Don't believe me? Ask your beloved G.I. Joe. The book requires some light moments sarcasm or other elements too and thus the author infused some interesting lines like when has the death of a person stopped us from meeting them rigaso smiled and gulped the rest of the scotch now to understand this you have to remember that rigasur is a time crawler neanderthal brains were different he was having a tough time here is another interesting conversation. Doors are meant to be knocked on, Nancy. Her tone was mundane. And rules are meant to be broken. Nancy gave a wide smile, through which Pre could see minced gum stuck between her teeth. Pre made a revolted face. Spare me the beauty of the inside of your mouth. Interesting, right? And there are lines that gives you deja vu feelings, as they appeared in the previous books too. For example, once I take the bounty, I complete it without fail. That's my unwavering ethic. I have a reputation to keep. What good is a reputation if you aren't there to keep it? I like the exploration of VR and artificial intelligence viewed together in the form of a game, Warriors of Thomas, a multiplayer role-playing game, MMORPG as they call it. If you are looking for a communication that explores chivalry, I will suggest you to read the small telephonic conversation between Hafiza and Aizaj.
and reference of jannat in the same if you are an emotional person the response of tej about his feeling for his own father after pre's outburst of her feelings and experiences of growing up without a father is something you will find remarkable and yes the book has some beautiful lines like the night was still young through the sky overcast with cloud showed almost no starlight the book has some proofreading errors also i have mentioned it in our review article on our website you will also find the usage of any ways instead of any way that is being a common standard these days and yes there are some phrases like tamasas should have been taken care about at the same time you will find some interesting words like uh, lensophobia in this book so i found it a genuinely conclusive part of the time traveler series and yet there is a scope of exploring the tale further if the writer decides so now my main aim was to give you a fair idea about the book without revealing spoilers as far as possible and i hope the quotes from the book are helpful to you in the same aspects it is the longest book in the series and it is quite pricey the good thing is currently it is available for free to read under amazon's kindle unlimited program so if you are a subscriber to their program you shouldn't miss it anyway then what is the summary well if you love exploring science fiction thrillers it is definitely a worthy choice thinker views rating i will give it about 8 to 8.5 stars out of 10 i genuinely like the book so what do you think about the book what do you think about this book review are you going to read this book are there any other books you want us to review for you please do not hesitate to let us know via comments below if you like listening to this review please do like it share it with your friends family members and other book lovers and yes do subscribe to our channel in order to get regular updates regarding all our future podcasts till then thank you for your time thank you for joining us we'll see you later bye bye take care namaskar